are given the payoff table which has decisions T1, D2, and D3, states of nature S1, S2, and S3, and that the probability of state of nature S1 is 0.2, the probability of state of nature S2 is 0.5, and the probability of state of nature S3 is 0.3. In this tutorial, I am going to use the expected monetary value decision criterion to find the optimal decision. And number two, I'll use the expected opportunity loss decision criterion to find the optimal decision. So I'll start by looking at question number one there using the expected monetary value. The formula for expected monetary value for decision TI is the summation from J equals to 1 up to N of PSJ times V D I S J. And the PSJ there is the probability of state of nature SJ. The V D I S J there is the payoff under decision one under state of nature S J. So we are multiplying the probability by the corresponding payoff. So for decision number one, we are having uh, under state of nature one, the probability is 0 0.2. And the corresponding payoff there under that, that state of nature is a three would have 0 0.2 times 3. And then for the next one, it will be the probability of S2 there, 0 0.5 times 2. And then we would have the probability of the S3 there, 0 0.3 times the payoff, which is a 5. When you evaluate that, it gives us a, a 3. For the expected monetary value of decision number 2 is the probability of S1 there, so 0 0.2 times the payoff, which is a 2, plus the probability of S2 which is a 0 0.5 times the payoff, which is a 5, then plus the probability of S3, 0, multiplied by the corresponding payoff, which is a 2. And when you evaluate that, we get a 3.5. For the expected monetary value of decision number 3, we have uh, the probability there, under state of nature 1, is a 0 0.2, multiplied by the corresponding payoff, it's a 1, plus the probability state of nature is 2 0 0.5 multiplied by the corresponding probability c3 plus the probability of state of nature is 3 which is a 0 0.3 multiplied by the corresponding payoff which is a 7 and when you evaluate that we get a 3.8 to see which decision we have to choose we have to look at the decision which is the largest expected monetary value the one with the largest expected monetary value is the one which is the 3.8 there, which is decision number 3. So in this case, using the expected monetary value, the optimal decision is decision number 3. I now move on to the second question, using the expected opportunity loss to find the optimal decision. And the formula for expected opportunity loss for decision TI is the summation from J equals to 1 up to N of PSJ times R D I S J. PSJ there is uh, the probability of a state of nature J and R D I S J is the regret under decision I state of nature S J. So to calculate the expected opportunity loss for a given decision, we would need the regret there because we are having the R. So in this case, we would need the regret table for this particular problem but we had uh, found the regret table in a previous question where we looked at the minimax regret criterion and uh, the regret table that we had obtained at uh, for decision 1 0, 3, 2, decision 2 1 0, 5 for decision 3 2 2 0 so we can just use uh, that one since we had uh, previously calculated it we now go on and evaluate the expected opportunity loss for decision number one. So what we'll be taking is the probability of state of nature one, 0 0.2, multiplied by the corresponding regret, which is a zero. So we we'll have 0 0.2 times zero, plus the probability of state of nature S2, 0 0.5 times the corresponding regret at three, plus the probability of S3 times the corresponding regret, which is a two and we get 2.1. And the expected opportunity loss for decision number 2 is 0 0.2 times 1, and then the probability 0 0.5 times the corresponding regret 0, plus the probability 0 0.3 times the corresponding regret, which is a 5. 
and uh, that result will give us 1.7. For decision number three, the expected opportunity loss is the probability 0.2 times the corresponding regret at 2 plus 0.5 times the corresponding regret, which is a 2, plus 0.3 times the corresponding regret, which is a 0. And this will give us a 1.4. To see which decision we have to choose, we have to look at the decision which has the lowest expected opportunity loss. In this case, the one with the lowest expected opportunity loss is decision number 3. Therefore, using the expected opportunity loss decision criterion, the optimal decision is decision number three. In this case, we are given the probabilities there of our states of nature S1, S2, and S3. But in some questions, those probabilities will not be given. In such cases, you would have to use the properties of a probability. Probabilities should add up to one. For example, for this case, you had 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 which gives us a 1 but if the probabilities are not given and you want to evaluate the expected monetary value or the expected opportunity loss then you should assume that the probabilities are equal so for example if for this problem we are not given the probabilities and you are having three states of nature you would just have assumed that the probabilities are equal and if they are equal those probabilities should add up to 1 and we are having three of them, for them to add up to one, if they are equal, they will be each be one third, one third, one third. Both one third, one third, plus one third, it will give us a, a one. So when the probabilities are not given, assume that they are equal.